my background is biomedical engineering, but I used to work for mainly sales and marketing and more like a uh, social scientific area. Even though I, uh, I mean, people said, people around me told me, yeah, Jay, you are good. Maybe you have some technical information, technical background of our uh, fields so that you uh, you could adapt very well. But personally, I, I still uh, wanted to improve my another part, which is more, how can I say, uh, management level, Manage, uh, manager your side, not only for the manager your side, the leadership and and those uh, the area which I didn't study or didn't experience uh, in a flip. So I decided to do an MBA, especially in Hong Kong, because I thought that the Hong Kong is the one of the best place to connect the Western and Eastern because I still believe that there are only two continents that we can see the opportunity uh, where is Africa and Asia so that yes Hong Kong would be the my best place to do an MBA to expand my network and uh, and increase my some motivation to deep dive into Asia market that's why I was pursuing it Before I joined the CHK, I was considering Singapore, even States and Hong Kong too. But uh, my first consideration was uh, where I come back. Yeah, of course, uh, even though I pursue an MBA in States or Europe or any other place, I could go somewhere, I could come back in some time. but. What I want to uh, expand or increase or accumulate my experience is the Asia market. Well, as I told you before, Africa and Asia could be the one uh, that remaining the continental or region to improve our business more than the others. So that that was one of my uh, important points. So when I come back, what kind of experience I could get and Singapore was one good option, but personally, uh, when I joined the CHK uh, medical fields company, the global company in medical fields, they were in Hong Kong mostly, even though now they moved to the another uh, country and the place. But when I joined it, that was the yeah big trend and big move. So I wanted to join that trend as well. The course's name is Money and Capital. The Money and Capital prof Professor. Uh, the course is about the, all the fundamental or uh, basic the terms and the protocol and procedure in the finance side. He opened me what does stand for the financial management. Even though there is a financial management course, uh, personally, his class was much more uh, influential to me. And the another course, yeah, uh, I still remember the course name is Negotiation. Yeah, as a salesman, the negotiation was one of the hot potato in my entire uh, working environment because uh, all clients or all suppliers they are doing negotiation with me but we always uh, saying that uh, we want to do win-win uh, position and we want to deal with you like we are uh, looking for some mutual beneficial status however i didn't know i mean i i, I couldn't feel any of win-win situation win-win status between my clients or the, the counterpart but from that classes I understood I could understood uh, what is the balanced position and how to deal with those some let's say strong the clients so now I feel much more confident 
than before. Yeah, so these two classes, that gave me lots of impression and impact. Actually, uh, some people call still, they uh, ask me uh, what draws me from the MBA. Well, actually, I, I can tell that I brought from MBA and I equipped several skills and some knowledge, but this is just one part of an MBA. What I brought from an MBA, I think that is my uh, braveness. Yeah, actually, um, I, well, as a, as a businessman and as a salesman, I, I'm always hesitating one part to apply uh, my idea or some kind of event or any of marketing activity on my sales territory. However, I learned from MBA that is there is no correct answer, but I can make it correct with lots of knowledge and experience and communication and so many different uh, aspects because if I can say a successful event or uh, some result, it doesn't come from one uh, the reason or evidence. I had to manage so many different uh, sectors and their issues, even people, and that is not kind of Thing that I can tell only one thing. I should have really uh, proper or uh, good re leadership to the people and I had to have certain knowledge and experience in the task wise. On the other hand, I should have some, how can I say, well, the vision, I mean, some foresight in certain circumstance so even though i had before i didn't understand how to generate or express and apply into my work but through the mba i i learned how i can try or how i can um, adapt on different circumstances that's what i learned from an mba I and my friends, we get together and we established one fintech company, especially in Indonesia. Uh, the service was quite simple. Uh, we wanted to make some proper second-hand product market because in Indonesia, they, uh, they have quite low, lower uh, purchasing power than the others so that there is a bunch of transaction in second hands. However, in the second hands uh, transaction, I, we believe that the trustworthy is the most important factor. However, we cannot uh, evaluate it or evaluate the trust itself uh, efficiently. So through the bank or some figuring data, uh, we apply to the personal trustworthy. So those number or some figures we apply to the uh, transaction. So if somebody raised uh, like some, I, I want to sell this product and the service applying, uh, I mean, providing not only for the product and their trustworthy, so that the buyer or the another part to wants to buy that product, they could get closer than before. And actually, we uh, targeted on targeting in Bali, Bali Island at first, uh, because my friends he is based in Bali, so we started from the Bali only. But now that service came into the main territory, the Java Island and another main city 
So even though I joined this company, that uh, service is still going on, and I am quite proud of uh, my previous journey yeah, because the, their, the fintech is totally different to uh, my sector. My sector is biome uh, biomedical engineering and medical equipment suppliers, but I had to deliver the proper service onto the unknown customer. So that was one of my challenging points, but I was really glad to explore those IT and the finance area. Until now, we, I, I talked lots of some differences, but below, uh, beyond all those differences, I could see some common facts as a human being, uh, between, even between you and me, well, even though we don't speak a uh, different language, but we could speak, we could communicate with one uh, common language, which is English now. So uh, that is what I, uh, well, how can I say, uh, get some another braveness from an MBA. Yeah, even now company, they, I mean, our management, they asked me whether you want to establish another, I mean, overseas branch or join into the different uh, corporates in our uh, different branch, I mean, overseas branch. Uh, to me, I, I'm, I'm open to it. And whenever there is some issue to figure it out, yeah, I, I can go there and I am willing to dive into those figuring out so yeah I really want to tell someone who wants to pursue an MBA uh, if you are still hesitating don't don't apply it hesitating doesn't mean that you are ready on MBA I mean pursuing an MBA probably you should be unready even though you feel that ah yeah I'm ready I got a score and I I can make some time but if you are still hesitating, please don't, because you won't get anything else. Someone who wants to do an MBA, yeah, no matter what, they should really deep dive into an MBA uh, courses and their program. Then you will get something. Yeah, there is some hesitation from our, how can I say, the the cost, cost of our our life. What if I lose some opportunity to get married or what if I lose my uh, really good job here? But believe me, whatever or whoever you uh, come with in MBA, you will get way better than the before. And furthermore, the CHK, Yes, CUHK is very unique MBA course because uh, in Asia, CUHK was the, the first MBA course in entire Asia uh, territory so that there are so many alumni. So wherever you go, you could find very easily <laughs> and you could find your alumni wherever you go, even, even, even Africa region you could see it. Actually, I did. Uh, I mean, uh, alumni, he was not uh, originally from Africa. He was um, English, but he is living in uh, the Uganda now. So I was really surprised. And that was really uh, good luck to me. So uh, if you want to explore real uh, global uh, presence, I think CVHK could be the good option. And to explore the Asia uh, cultures and some environment, Hong Kong is, is one of the good country, even though it is a little bit uh, complicated in political situation for now. But uh, apart from that, still there is a really good place that you, could, uh, you can explore in Hong Kong and Asia. MBA doesn't guarantee 
your next position. But the next position only guarantee by you, not the others. So please don't lean on to something or somebody because that is your life. And MBA is also your decision so that your decision will affect to your future life. And that future life, anyhow, it will go prosper. So don't, you don't have to doubt about yourself. Believe yourself and try to do something, then you will get it. <laughs>